Welcome back. All right. So, so many of your hormones shoot up through the A, D, and E section of your brain. This is why these notes are so important. A minor is extraordinarily important. It uh, is where you feel pain and anger. Simple, innocent anger. However, as soon as you start to hold a grudge, it is now a D uh, part of the brain. It is now a D part of the brain. Um, oh, shit. So, the D is very important because it is right over the, the brain stem. And the thing about D, if you can see here, there are resonators bes uh, beside or right on top of D. I did that. I did that wrong, but whatever. I'm just going to erase it. There. And E. There are resonators all around E. And what happens, or, or all around D, and what happens with D is it has the largest amount of reverberation on the second bounce. So it covers so many of the other resonators of the skull. D is one of the most important notes for human intelligence and epiphanies. Um, uh, when you yell, Eureka! Eureka! Uh, it's a D. Eureka! Alright. But, you know, you can have epiphanies in other... We'll, we'll get back to epiphanies. We'll get back to epiphanies. I'm also going to make a separate video uh, that is not reflected so that I can um, show the original drawings or whatever of the brain. Which I should uh, pull out the E just to make sure. All right, E. Oh, whoa. Get down on the ground. Should be more. That. So E uh, is near the back of the brain, and this is important. Uh, thought processing for higher meaning in language is in the back of the brain. Uh, so. Uh, e carries love and wisdom and all these different things. It still is near the brainstem. Brainstem is right here. And uh, love, as a hormone, gets ejected into E. When you are in love, I love you. It's an E. Well, you can also say uh, I love you on a lot of different keys. Um, but if someone is saying... An E, uh, 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 an I love you on A, it's because they're being more playful or whatever. But A is also the A major is the key of infatuation and competitivity and um, other things or whatever. Uh, in uh, if someone says I love you in the key of F, that means that they're just trying to have sex with you. Anyway, um, so. Around the back of the brain is also the cerebellum, right here, or right here, but it's all the way underneath, and you, you, you kind of see it, never mind. Uh, point is that the cerebellum uh, controls your body's movement, and um, uh, it is important for athletes to use. Athletes are constantly in E and G, so let's make the G. G, 
won't get to see until I pull out the drawings, I guess. Oh, I gotta make a G backwards. I don't know what a fucking lowercase G looks like. I can't make it, I know what a G looks like. No, lowercase, a, a printed G. I think I know what a G looks like. That's a G. That's what it looks like in the electrical symbol. Oh well. Um, so G is on the back of the brain, right underneath. So it is most of the cerebellum. And the reason for this is because G is the key of duty. And duty is what workers need, what soldiers need. Um, duty, honor, valor, or whatever. Uh, however, um, you will hear uh, people on their very first day of work uh, talking in B, very happy and excited. Um, and someone will answer back to them in G, like, uh, all the time, like, you know, um, uh, never mind. Um, I'm going to now show you actual, the actual pictures that I drew out because uh, you can uh, either watch the next video or um, you can either watch the next video that will just be the drawings or you can take a screenshot of this and reverse it. Anyway, why is there a piece of tape on this? Some of the drawings actually don't matter if you reverse them or not. Uh, I'm going to... I'll find show them later. So this, if you reverse it, is correct except for the C. Or the C, either B flat or F. This, you do not need to reverse at all. However, it's on a line piece of paper, so it's kind of ugly. But I don't mind. It's beautiful. Oh, my children are beautiful. This is not uh, technically like sh fully shaded or whatever, but I, I just wanted to show the depth in some places or whatever. Like the that's an actual hole. This is the skull looking down uh, on into the skull. If you had uh, had a um, a coronal or a coronal slice halfway through your head, like right here. Woo -woo -woo. This is, I shouldn't even show this because there's no indentation right there. This, where my thumb is, is where the normal indentation right there is, but it's not there. But um, this is the brain without any of the skull resonators, any of the notes. This, wait, what? Why are these uh, in the wrong order? There. I just put them there. All right. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is where the uh, B. Ah, uh, oh shit! I'm really having problems with this. This is where the B resonator is. Um, uh, if you haven't noticed yet, I had to slice the other video in half, and it's not because it was getting too long. It's because I said a bad word. Um, now, if you look near where I made, where the U and the zero connect, or the o, uppercase O connect, the upside down U and the O con, uh, and the O connect is where the B resonator ends. And there's a dotted line in halfway or whatever, but I just I do two at a time for the front when I'm drawing them. Now this one shows it a little bit, it a little bit better. Because now you can see it's just at the tip of the brain. It's just at the tip of the brain. However, it goes all the way down to here. It goes all the way down to here because it shoots out from the the, the cord itself. And uh, I don't know a, um, a great way for drawing these other than just taking the measurements or whatever. Because it's just a bunch of weird shapes and you have to remember. Uh, these are very specific indentations. Um... Like these are your, uh, 
these are movement areas of the brain um, and, and uh, other things or whatever. At the top is uh, where you get your... Uh, at the top of D is actually where you get the top, uh, your, your programming for Malin. And Malin is uh, very important. D is a very good key. All right. A and F sharp. Ooh, back up a bit. Hope you enjoy it. Pretty easy, right? Pretty easy. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. D. As I said, those two bumps are where D lines up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yay. E. We'll try and get these onto the internet. I'm not very good with computers. You'll have to bear with me. Fuck my internet. I'm not even good in front of a camera. Whenever I've uh, taken video footage before, I have not been the cameraman. G. Oh, we'll show this one first so that you get a, an understanding of what G, where G is. And um, I haven't mentioned it yet, but there is another uh, note or whatever, uh, never mind. It's the bottom of the brain still. Here you go. And last but not least, and there isn't a second drawing for this, but the E flat resonator, which also is where I feel C the strongest. However, I also feel C very strong, or I, uh, in my um, in my broken uh, occipital plate or whatever, I feel those three notes equal strength. However, I also feel one of those notes in this one. And um, uh, F um, <coughs> F uh, is um, a very weird note, uh, but that's not important. Anyway, uh, moving forward, now we're going to talk about the emotions. Keys and their emotions. As individual notes have specific properties that pertain to their sound, so do they travel a path much as ultrasound does and provoke blood flow in the correlating areas. Um, as a general rule of thumb, there is healthy blood flow and unhealthy types of blood flow in the brain. Healthy blood flow is moderate and consistent. The latter type is overwhelming and over, or overflowing and sporadic. There are exceptions to this rule, like the glucose rush one gets from the experience of an epiphany, which causes on and off forward thinking, backwards thinking, big picture thinking, analytical thinking, logical thinking, creative thinking, as well as positive thinking. Epiphanies are usually in the prosodic key of D, though I have them in B third most in uh, F and A and fourth most in E and G. Um, F sharp is... Uh, unusual to get glucose rushes in, but I have them in certain situations. Uh, sometimes I get them in B flat, but I try to forget those ones. Uh, rarely in E flat. It all depends on the person, though. Um, if a person is very uh, narcissistic, they might get them in E flat, e flat or whatever. Um, uh, uh, what, uh, when one has an epiphany in any key, it is common for them to key change into G just as or after the glucose rush. If it happens simultaneously, 
exemplified by the prosody of shouting Eureka, the change could be momentary or lengthy. When there is a key change off of D, it could be anything. And the prosodic choice has the potential to be anything. It depends on the person and the situation. You may not feel your brain's blood flow, but you can feel your body's resonators. For instance, singing in D, you should feel the first wave of propagation while sustaining the note in the same area of your brain responsible for all the things I listed about epiphanies. Some like big picture thinking uh, can happen in E. Um, D's resonator is the very cap of the skull in the middle. The resonator being in the middle is a great starting point. In front of D, and to the left, is where the propagation of A note lands. F sharp is in front of D, and to the right. I fucking... I wrote left there. I made a mistake. Uh, E's reverberation fits just behind D. Just as the latter uses the uh, width of the skull, um, so does the former. D, A, F sharp, and E are essential resonators in the skull. This is because of two reasons. First, this is because the brainstem is in that area. The second is because it is harder for your brain to regulate blood flow to areas away from the truncus encephaly, uh, uh, or AKA the stem. I'm, I don't speak Latin. I'm sorry for that one. I don't even know why I put it in there. I just, I, I needed another word for fucking brainstem for the paragraph to fucking not have. Never mind. Um, uh, it's a much more rigorous for blood to get to the bilateral dorsal rostral, uh, and what am I missing there? Uh, never mind. Whatever. Uh, sections of the, the brain, uh, outer sides, back, top, and front. Uh, that, uh, that seems right. I actually don't know. There's a mistake on this, and Grammarly didn't uh, catch it. Uh, the brain stem regulates hormones. It is the main highway for the nervous system. Many neurotransmitters do their thing in these parts of the brain. However, there are multiple ways to get dopamine in the brain. You don't need to know all the ins and outs about neurology. Just remember the mid-sagittal, vertical halfway... Uh, why did I say that? Uh, mid-halfway... Uh, the vertical halfway of the brain in the midbrain is the central hub of the organ. The visceral pleasure centers and instincts are there. That means if you get brain damage, it happens on the outer edges of your brain. And you usually retain uh, most of your instincts and pleasure centers. However, uh, you may lose your motor skills if it's in the back. Uh, you may uh, get a short temper or uh, lose your concentration if it's in the front. Um, you may lose your ability to read if it's in the front, actually. Like, there's there's a lot of different things there. Okay, moving on. Uh, we are now going to move very quickly uh, through different affects of the keys or uh, different uh, uh, emotions related to the keys. The key of E-flat is the key of cool. Yeah, baby. <coughs> However, never mind. Uh, well, it's the key of nonchalance, less based narcissism, ego, and bossiness. Uh, there are more emotions that go into these things. However, I study them on my own, and uh, you should know that you should be studying them all the time. As well, uh, if you learn bad things about the keys, please do not. Um, uh, don't ruin everybody's life. You know what I mean? Like, um, if you tell people what, uh, it's going to be very common for people after they, they know these things, uh, to be able to detect lies very easily. Um, uh, and, um, uh, when people lie, they actually for, different, uh, for whatever the reason for the lie is, may actually make a certain uh, key change happen or whatever. And different reasons have different key changes or whatever. If you learn what all the lies are about, don't tell people. Don't tell everybody. That is something that the Hippocratic Oath might uh, look against. Um, 
because oh uh white lies actually do not key change uh, just to let you know so uh the the brain is cool with white lies it, it's actually true um and if you force uh the uh, uh the right key or, or if you force a lie to be in a, a prosodic key that is not uh, like if you say i'm uh, innocent on C, the key of innocence, but you're actually guilty or whatever, you will cause cognitive dissonance. So you will eventually break down like fucking Raskolnikov and crime and punishment because you fucking are guilty and you know it. You will not be able to do it forever. It will cause you fucking brain damage and loss of fucking sleep and shit. Okay. Key of B flat. The Jesus key. Not the key that he uh, sang with, but the key that he cried with, or whatever. Uh, the key of melancholy. Um, sadness, melancholy, lackluster, nonchalance. Uh, when I talk about the nonchalance of uh, uh, key of B flat, it is not a cool nonchalance. It's more of just like a, a fucking. Sorry, I, I had to de-stress myself some way and I got like crazy high for this now. But I don't know why. I've already fucked up the video a couple times by uh, breaking the Hippocratic Oath. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, the key of F. The key of silliness. A lot of jokes happen in the key of F. Um, silliness. Flirtation with carnal attachment. Cleverness and insightfulness. It is still an intelligent key. Um, uh, I honestly think that the part of the brain uh, that I was talking about or whatever that uh, yeah, uh, the the part of my brain that is or part of my skull that's broken with the uh, with a occipital plate is the key of F because that's where those emotions lie um, and uh, it would make sense if C and F actually share a uh, resonator uh, because they're fifths, but I don't know why there wouldn't be both of those places. But there is a C in the back, so I think that could be F. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I actually pointed to my B, but I think because the video is flipped or whatever, that might be good for some people. Whatever. It, it's really bothering me. I don't know how to... Never mind. Um, C is the key of innocence. Warmth. Kindness. Also sorrow. Um, I have... Uh, 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 it, 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 if you could relate the key of C to a uh, a chord or whatever, you'd relate it to the minor chord. Um, uh, there are math uh, equations for what each note has to do in physics and. Uh, relative pitch properties or whatever however um, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them with everybody I'm going to go through most of them with musicians and then uh, like uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do the math math with the pundits or whatever and then uh, uh, the parts of the math that I don't do with everybody or I only give to doctors is the uh, the propagation patterns in the brain and stuff, which I didn't actually do the math for. Somebody else did, and they just didn't know what they were looking at or whatever. But they, they wrote all the right words. I don't know why they, they didn't know what the hell they were looking at, but they could have fucking solved perfect pitch right there. Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, key of G, devotion, duty, soothing, pacifying. And we're going through, we're listing them in the... the uh, uh, the circle of fifths and the reason why I do that is because uh, the clo the note that is the closest to a note is the harmonic notes next to it uh, there are physical properties uh, that uh, make each third close and then there are uh, uh, emotional properties that make each fifth close it's very strange so there's weird overlap like you saw uh, 
E flat and B flat both had nonchalance. Well, uh, soothing, pacifying, and sorrow kind of sound all similar. Or no, no, no uh, warmth and kindness and soothing and pacifying or whatever are very, very similar. These things uh, make them related to each other. Um, oh, uh, childishness is also in C. I didn't write that down. I should write that down right now, actually. Do, do, do. Uh, da, 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 da. D is the key of higher human functions. Growth, change, critical thinking, forward thinking, backward thinking, creative thinking, analytical thinking. Um, uh, G is much like a minor chord, but also with a major interval or whatever. So it is kind of uh, one of those Og, uh, Og uh, 9 chords, the Jimi Hendrix chord or whatever. However, um, the, the, the minor note is on the bottom. So it's actually a uh, flat four. Uh, doesn't matter. I don't know what the name of a flat four chord is. It doesn't matter. I, I've had that major three times. It doesn't matter. Um, D uh, has properties of inverted fifth intervals or perfect fourth intervals. Um, and it sounds like a major chord but it is an inverted major chord. Um, and this is where epiphanies happen, as we said. Uh, D minor is uh, very different. We have, we're have we not gonna uh, talk about the, the minor chords yet. Uh, we're just, oh, I fucked it, I don't know. Okay. Um, key of A, key of play, playfulness, competitivity, com competitivity. <laughs> Flirtation with the capacity for love. Um, when we joke in a uh, schadenfreude kind of way, like just make it in front of a friend or whatever, it's usually in A major, sometimes A minor if you're trying, really trying to rib him or whatever. But um, uh, A is where we game and we get into the game or whatever. Um, e is where we play sports. Because we have to use our wisdom as well as our bodies. Um, uh, e is right next to D. And D uh, has your malin responders uh, in the top of your brain. Um, and so that means that uh, only people with good brains, really good brains, get to use malin while playing sports. So congratulations, all you athletes. Uh, e is the key of God, love and wisdom. Uh, probably the most essential key. That's why guitars are actually tuned to E or whatever. Um, uh, love, wisdom, appreciation, confidence, and God. Um, e is uh, a, a, a phi chord and symmetrical. It's a major chord. Um, and an og or whatever but it's very small og or whatever it's like an og way at the top or whatever but uh, uh it's the reason why ole is fucking so good um sorry i swore so much on this one uh the key of happiness happy children and happy children is the key of b right here or in your video uh you uh, I'm gonna make another video that is not uh, reflected or whatever, and you can look at uh, what the actual oh, fuck, uh, resonators are in there. I have a real tough time not saying the word that I'm not supposed to say. Okay, F sharp. Uh, oh shit. Um, key of happiness and happy children. Happiness, joy, playful joy, strength. I'm strong, you know, uh, major third intervals, uh, major scale, phi, uh, very, very phi, uh, very symmetrical too, but not that symmetrical in compared to, uh, E, F sharp, 
spectacular, full of reverie, full of serenity, calm before the storm, everyday miracles are, uh, like, miracles of random chance when, uh, someone, like, just comes through for you or whatever, and you're like, it's a miracle, fucking, uh, you probably get stuck in F sharp for a while and, uh, be, like, pissing the guy off or whatever, because you're gonna seem annoyingly happy, um, C sharp, uh, oh, uh, F sharp is the key of serenity, uh, C sharp, the key of tough questions, Cartoonish fairness also. Uh, tough questions, moral dilemmas. Uh, C-sharp is the most symmetrical of all the, the keys. Um, minor third symmetry too. Uh, it sounds crazy in the diminished scale. Um, F-sharp is phi and symmetrical or whatever. Um, that's not important. Okay, so those are the major keys. How far did I get in this one? Oh, I didn't do all the minor keys. It's too bad. <laughs> Whatever. Boss is 30 minutes. Jeez. D minor, the key of omens. Selfish narcissism. Dumb narcissism. Growing evil. Evil exposition. Omens, grudges, curses, sentencing, warning. When you warn your child, like, don't do that again. Uh, it, it, it's in D minor. Uh, the A minor, the key of innocent anger and innocent pain. Innocent anger, innocent pain. Uh, much negative emotions as well. Angst, anger, uh, anger issues in general. When people uh, have anger issues, they go back from uh, uh, like all the the minors of the notes around the middle section, but they they heavily rely on A minor. People with brain issues, uh, brain issues like uh, schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, are stuck in A minor or A pentatonic uh, so much, A pentatonic blues or whatever so much. Um, uh, it's not the only reason to be stuck in a, a, a pentatonic blues. Like you can be very playful and be stuck in uh, 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 a pentatonic blues. And it's not that somebody with uh, bipolar or schizophrenia is uh, uh, really stuck in the that setting or whatever. It's that they just can't be serious. So they have a very tampered homeostasis. Uh, but regular people, they'll, they'll stub their toe and go, Ow! Ow! I fucking... I screwed up the note there. Or whatever. I, I, I go to F sharp a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, B. Uh, B minor. Disappoint, the key of disbelief. Disappointment. Bewilderment. Uh, guard. Reproach. Okay. F sharp minor, the key of wrath, victory, out of control anger, vigilance. Uh, F sharp is in very important for guys. Uh, so that's the end of the video so far. Um, I'm going to wait probably a couple days before I put up more videos. Uh, but there is more in more sections of the everybody section or whatever. But uh, I really want to get started on the other sections. And I have not typed out a lot of them. So uh, I, I have a lot to do. Um, I will try to keep it brief. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, uh, like and subscribe.